Hi everyone, Maros here, sharing with you a little bit of an unboxing today and a little bit of a day in the life of me. I do like it when they package it really minimally. Some of these sellers just go overboard with too much bubble wrap. This is really good. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna see acrylic gosh. So I do try not to tear the bubble wrap because I'm going to have it picked up by somebody uh, who's into upcycling plastics, which I think is a really great initiative. So I'm going to try and tear this as little as possible, even though I'm just super excited to get this open. I will have to restrain myself. Almost there. Yay! And let's look at our box of acrylic wash. Oh, it comes in a really nice box too. Nice! With a mixing plate and all. Alright, let's see what's inside here. A little bit more padding. Towel. Oh, this is nice. It's gonna be useful. And it's all in Japanese. Go, Yahoo! All right, so why are there two tubes missing here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it says on the box it's 13 tubes, so this is just an extra spot, uh, space. Nothing missing. This is what it's supposed to be. Great! So there you go. This is my first acrylic gouache set. And aside from this, these brushes arrived yesterday. They're Princeton brushes. Really excited to try this. I'm going to probably start with some simple shapes, simple forms. Alright, so I just remember that I have a veterinary forum coming up at 6 p.m. The idea was I wanted to do some experimenting with a Holbein acrylic gouache, but that's going to have to be put on hold because I want to give that my undivided attention. So for now, I'm just going to give half my attention to continuing my figure drawing practice while I'm watching the veterinary forum. I'm gonna put you guys on hyperlapse and you're gonna see me sketching for a while. webinar took a little bit longer than I expected. I really don't have time to do much anymore. I did finish a few sketches for my figure drawing practice. Let me put this aside and we will get back to this. It's pretty late in the evening already. Um, so I think all I'm going to do for tonight is just do a swatch, which is always fun to do. And I think that's going to be enough fun to last me until tomorrow. This is from the cheap brush set that I found somewhere. I don't even remember where. Anyway, let's do some painting. And this is Carmine. So I've never used gouache before. I've used acrylic, but not for paintings. I've used it for like craft projects. Like for my Easter eggs that I have a video of, you saw me there using acrylic paint. So I have to get used to how this dries and what the transparency is or the opacity is. And I'm using my Strathmore sketchbook. Okay, so far it feels like watercolor. Okay, so that's Carmine.
I'm getting kind of bored with this because this is pretty basic stuff. I'm going to try and paint something. But yeah, I don't want to work on something and then get stuck doing it until the early hours of the morning. So I'm just going to find my subject for tomorrow. Probably maybe a flower or a pet portrait. Uh, okay, I'm gonna resume tomorrow. I am going to be exploring more of this medium acrylic gouache. But yeah, so far I haven't been super excited about what I um, got out of it from just doing the swatch. But maybe that's just because I need to get into doing a painting and then uh, finding out how it works when you're actually using it in an artwork. Stay tuned for that video and I will share with you my explorations into acrylic gouache. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!